Tony Polster wird immer verbunden äh, werden mit. Tony Polster ist forever remembered for the 1990-1998 World Cups. Und äh, Tony Polster wird immer in Erinnerung bleiben als einer der. Tony Polster will always be remembered as someone who could have run more. But also as the Austrian player who scored the most goals in their history. I think this will even be remembered when Tony Polster is long gone. Talk about Austrian football and one name stands out. Tony Polster is the country's all-time top scorer with 44 goals in 95 games. Now he's at the helm of fourth-tier Austrian club Wiener Victoria. Yeah, I have I took the job as coach because it was a missing piece in my career. I enjoy it so much that I'll keep going until it stops being fun. The first thing that comes to mind when describing Tony Polster is that he is very ambitious. He wants to win every match. And this is a message he brings across to us. He's also got a fantastic personality. During each training session, you always learn something new. I listen to all his advice. And even if I am 33 years old, I learn from him every day. Born in Vienna, it was there that Polster made a name for himself, coming through the youth ranks at Austria Vienna before going on to become an international star. As a child, I never wanted to be a captain of a ship, a doctor, or a cab driver. I always wanted to be a footballer because I knew this would fulfill me. I knew this because when I was a little boy playing football in the yard or in the park, older players showed me a lot of respect for my technique. I knew then I was able to do something that others couldn't. I was a goal getter. I tried to score with the left foot, the right foot, my head. I always took the penalties and usually the free kicks too. I wasn't a sprinter like Cristiano Ronaldo or a technical whiz like Messi, but I think I was quite a well-rounded striker. I was captain in 1990 and 98, and of course that was a big honour for me. I'll never forget I was able to play for my country and to lead my team onto the pitch at a World Cup. It was something that made me very proud. The goal against Cameroon will always remain in my memory. The game was concentrated in one half of the pitch, and we were by far the better team. It was a corner. Tony Pfeffer passed the ball to me. I took it with my left foot and hit it hard with my right, drawing on all the remaining power I had left in my muscles. I'd have liked to have made it past the group stages, but sadly we never managed it. In 1990, we were too young. In 98, we could and should have progressed. Sadly, we didn't manage to beat Italy in the last game. In the last game, we didn't manage to beat Italy in the last game. France 98 was Austria's last World Cup. Now, after years in the wilderness, there's real hope that the national team can challenge again. Of course, it would be fantastic if the team could develop further and achieve that. The European Championship was disappointing, but I'm still positive and keep my fingers crossed that they can qualify for Russia. It'd be really important for Austrian football. And in Vienna, Tony Polster's own ambition is to continue to progress in his role on the touchline. I've definitely improved and developed as a coach. Of course, every year makes you more experienced. I think that I'm definitely a better, more well-rounded coach compared to three or four years ago. In the beginning, I had a lot of passion, but also a certain carelessness. Whereas today, I'm a lot calmer. 
All of those qualities have advantages, and they're all needed to develop further.